Hi folks, just another quick unboxing video about watts that I just bought from a company based out of Singapore uh, called the Numon. So uh, in the past, I purchased maybe two or three watches from them and uh, for a really good price. So here it is. So what I have here is the King Seiko. Uh, they released, the Seiko released uh, two models, I think last year, and this is the cheaper version, but uh, almost a good uh, reinterpretation of their 1964 model, King Seiko model. The uh, uh, Seiko 49-9990 or KSK44. So it comes in this really nice packaging, as you can see. So here it is. Oh, by the way, the model number that I have here is different from what it is in the web. This is S D K S O O three, but what the most popular model or name for this one is the S P B two eight one. So I guess S D K S is the uh, Asian model number. Okay, so here's the watch. No, by the way, it comes with nothing but this warranty cards. That's about it. So here's the watch. I've been wanting to get a vintage uh, King Seiko, but. I'm no watch expert, so I really uh, refrain or restrain myself from getting one because you'll never know what you're going to get if you buy it out of eBay or anywhere else. No guarantee that it's going to work. But anyways, so here's the watch. Uh, yeah, so I really love the angular look of this watch by the way this is the silver version uh seiko released this in i think four colorways there's a white black brown and also a cherry i think cherry is the most popular one color because they're sold out uh, on the website of new moon yeah really good looking watch as you can see, combination of polish and brush finishing is really beautiful. You know, this uh, push and pull crown. I wish they had its uh, a screw type, but I guess you know. It's not going to be like the original or close to the original if it's screw type. And this runs on a uh, 6 R31 caliber, the sister of the 6 R35 movement with no date. And that's what makes this watch uh, a bit controversial to Seiko collectors because for the price that they're selling this, almost $1,700. Uh, Seiko Watts, uh, you know, connoisseurs uh, suggested that they could have at least put a uh, 6L35 movement in it. But I have no problem with the 6R six, six movements. I have about two, three watches with that caliber. I have no issue with it. And like I said, I didn't, I didn't pay full price for this one. Uh, I paid less than $1,300. So for me, I think it's worth it. Uh, uh, considering how beautiful this watch is. Yeah. It has the double butterfly, butterfly clasp. I'm not, I don't know how, how easy to adjust this bracelet links but uh, we'll see yeah so the size is 
plug to lag is no that can't be right you just zero 43 42.5 yeah lag to lag that's really small and the uh, diameter is 36.6 almost 37 so yeah this is a really small watch but I have a small wrist so I'm good with that really nice and good looking watch so let's try it on my wrist Oh, by the way, uh, rest check. I'm wearing the uh, Steinhardt. I don't know what model is this. And this is the, another watch that I bought from Numon uh, about maybe two, three years ago. I forgot the uh, model number, <clears throat> but that's what I'm wearing at the moment. So, they're almost the same size. Yeah. So, here is the watch on my wrist. That's nice, really nice. Okay, that's all folks. Thank you for watching.